Um, when I do get a chance, I like to, um, to throw them the, the graphic calculator and just let them try and tell me some of the maths behind it. And um, I, I started uh, the matrices section with 3x3 three three matrices and it just kind of goes, this is how you do a determinant in the MEI system. And it's like, well, where does it come from? No idea. And there's no real justification that that's a determinant. Um, so I think sometimes the fact that the machine will give them the same answer they're going to calculate kind of moves them happier to accept it. And then I, I looked at, um, it went through properties of 3x3 three three matrices and determinants and things like that, and it, it just kind of listed them. The, the, the subsequent exercise kind of talked about them, but I wanted, I, I thought rather than stand up in the front and sort of say to the two lads that I've got doing it, um, oh, this is what happens, now do this exercise, use that property. I just really wanted them to, to find out about it for themselves. Now I'll show you the... Um, uh, the, the, some of the matrix functions in a minute. Value for a determinant. Um, three, uh, negative four, negative two, and negative one, two, four. So you can literally just enter um, three by three matrix. Texas Instruments have got many calculators, I think, that will do this. That's probably like Sharp and Casio. Um, but one of the things I was trying to do was to look at some of the properties of 3x3 three three matrices. And um, after we had done this calculation, to find a, the um, determinant of a 3x3 three three matrix, it's just you basically use the calculator to check it, and all you have to do is type in DET and put a bracket, press enter. You don't have to worry about closing a bracket, it'll do it for you, and it'll, it'll, put the, uh, um, it'll just work it out. So. <coughs> Um, I think it was quite helpful just to see, yes, it seems to work, we get some agreement. Um, in one of the properties of a 3x3 three three matrix is that if you, if you change the rows around, swap the rows at the matrix, something happens to um, um, the determinant. A couple options is that you could literally um, type in uh, a new matrix and have written it down and transferred the rows, but it will have a function um, under menu and there is the, the matrix and vector thing there which says or gives us our functions, it's got create, or transpose, determinant. Um, the thing that I just wanted to, to do was to swap rows and in swapping rows and you can use the arrow key to go up to get the matrix that you stored and if we wanted to swap row 1 and 2 you just literally type in 1 and 2 and press enter and it hopefully has swapped them all around. So the third one is still in the same place. And if you wanted to uh, explore what is going on with um, the determinant, just ask again, press enter, and it actually gives you the negative of the one that you had before. Um, and I think it, in the, it was, it's just nice to get the kids telling me that, oh, that's what they've noticed, and they tried something else. And you can also explore it um, when you tr transfer them cyclically and things like that.